Yo, what's up guys, it's IJS Gamester, and welcome back to another video. And for y'all Bendy fans, y'all been waiting for hella long for another Bendy video, and I must say today, I shall deliver, or the Meatly per se. Yes, the Bendy team, aka the Meatly, released yet another Bendy in a Dark Robert teaser, and must I say, it looks mighty, mighty fine, like, damn, I wanna kiss the teaser. Oh, wait, I'm on the internet, let me stop. Anywho, let's get to analyzing this teaser, shall we? Must I say again, this teaser looks so damn nice. The lighting, the atmosphere, graphics, dog. I guess they weren't lying when they say it would be worth the wait, but anywho, we can gawk at the looks all day. Let's look at the key details of this teaser and see what we can find. First off, the setting this teaser takes place in is very confusing to figure out. I mean, of course, we can see that it says Research Wing, but where in the studio does it take place? In the higher levels or the lower? I'm not going to lie to you. This research area is giving me massive Benny and the Ink Machine Chapter 3 Level P vibes, so maybe it takes place in the middle of the studio, perhaps. But as much as we can pretend it's a normal research wing, it's really not. You know Joy 2 Studios on their bullshit with their evil experiments. Even if they were researching things, I don't think the things that they were researching were normal, researchable things, which is where the writing on this research wing comes in, captioned the pit. What is this pit? Well, I think the pit is actually where all of the monsters experiment Joy 2 Studios researched resided. But them being monsters ended up killing the researchers and now it's just a pit of gore, ink, darkness, and death. These bloodthirsty monsters might run the pit and in order to get through the other side, we would need to fight through them through this pit. But in order to get to the pit, you will need to be prepared unless you want to get your ass handed to on an inky platter. And it seems like badges are the way to go to enter this area. As shown by these signs, you can't enter the area without a top level badge. I think this badge mechanic is kind of like a key to enter other levels throughout the game, meaning that this game might be a semi-open world game, allowing us to explore sections of the studio, unlocking secrets, and all that jazz. This is genuinely a cool mechanic I didn't expect to be in this game, and it adds more depth to the exploration of this game. But how do we require these badges? Well, I think we require them by either searching for them, fighting bosses to obtain them, upgrading them, or even crafting them if possible. But that's kind of like shooting towards the moon. I'm not too sure if it's likely but it'll be cool regardless. But in order to do all that jazz, you will probably need to upgrade your skills, weapons, and such in order to do so. So in order to enter the pit, you will need to upgrade yourself to handle those ferocious beasts and your badge as well. Now on to the other things in this teaser. As we can see, there is a small contraband area to the side. Not too sure if this is going to be a one-off thing, or maybe we see something like this throughout the game where we can collect items from, but I'm more interested in the items themselves. First, we see the return of the scene tool. I'm surprised that this is going Coming back. I wonder, will this scene tool be used for more than just seeing messages on the walls? Maybe solving puzzles or finding invisible enemies? Who knows? The next two items are very suspicious, but it could be a stretch. We see an axe and also a vinyl record. Now, it could just be some random items, but I feel like these items are here to symbolize the crazed ink demon worshiping musician Sammy Lawrence's existence within Benny and the Dark Revival. Sammy's main weapon of choice was an axe, and as a musician, the vinyl record is a perfect symbolization for his musical talent. These two items were placed side to side, which really, I don't think is a coincidence. If we want to stretch this theory out even more, the scene tool being placed right next to those two items adds more emphasis to Sammy Lawrence's existence as the scene tool didn't show up until chapter 5 of Benny and Ink Machine, which is also the same chapter Sammy Lawrence came back to life in a boss fight. Again, could be a stretch, but it's a possible one. We also see another energy refill station, which in the last Rain and Dark Robin video, I thought it was a save station. My bad. This station will probably be used to charge back up our electric weapons, such as the electric gem pipe. Other than that, this teaser makes me hyped for Benny and Dark Arrival because it looks so damn good. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys like this video and want to see more of my content, you guys pretty much already know what to do. If you guys want to see more of me, go check out my socials. Links in the description. Design just games and I am out.